Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what's going on? Today is the last day of the fiscal year. I hope you got your contracts in. Last day of fiscal year. I hope everyone got their contracts in today. I know I did. What's up, Maria? Forever. What's up, one girl, one truck? Hey, make sure Johnny Spiva, Brandon. Make sure, uh, like I said, on all my chats, on all my lives, whatever I do, just make sure you drop where you're from, the city and the industry you're in. Always, 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 we want to network. Remember, your network is your net worth. Definitely. And it, it looks like Fat Joe's always going live when I'm going live. Dang, Fat Joe. Don't be trying to steal my thunder. You know? But uh, what's up, Jai Butler? And uh, So definitely, listen. Make sure, let people know what you're doing, what you're working on. Uh, again, Free Throw Frank just joined. If you, if you don't tell people about your business, you're a secret business. You can't win contracts being a secret business. Use this as your chance to promote yourself. Tell people what you're doing. Tell people like, hey, this is who I am. I'm in this industry. I'm in trucking. I'm in janitorial. I'm out in San Fran. I'm in Atlanta. What's up? Maria just checked in. Okay, good stuff. Spent all day learning. That's what I like to hear. My man, Free Throat Frank. Gotta love him. All right, taking a free course, taking it more every day. Good stuff. So, what's up, King Norwood? Just starting out. How can I find out if I'm able to receive an advance for materials? Um, what you mean? Tell me. Um, about able to receive an advance for materials. Uh, you know, if you're just starting out, you're in the new in the free course. We actually just redirected it. Uh, Maria wants to see my shirt, the United States of America. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how we feel right now, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's tough out there. You know, we got, you know, that's a whole nother story. Maria wants to bring up some other stuff. But nevertheless, yes, uh, we are living in the United States of America right now. Things are rough. But, hey, we're going to keep our eye on the prize and focus on the things that we can control, not worry about the things that we can control. So, um. Okay, okay, all right, King Norwood. Listen, why don't you jump on if, if, you know, we could just, you know, chat about that. But by the way, anybody coming on now, let's just see there's 19 people on watching. Drop, you know, again, Vicky from NorCal Manufacturing. I like to hear that. We actually, see, this is why you have to drop in there where you're from in your industry because it allows me to kind of see what you're doing. By the way, One Girl, One Truck, uh, MVP asked about you last night. MTP, she asked about you, Melissa Provenat. She asked about you in yesterday's live session. I saw you missed it. So um, definitely she's looking for you. She's working with someone who's got a hundred trucks and she wanted, you know, she wanted to talk to you and consult with you on that. So <laughs> that's right. But the federal government is united in its spending. That's right. See, Maria, that's what we need to shirt. We need to say United in Spending of America because that's what we are. We are all united in the fact that they're going to spend all this money. And so we just got to kind of like figure it out, right? I mean, I, you know, good stuff. I mean, I picked up literally, four, I signed four contracts today, four. And if, for all my people that were in the group last night, they knew I was stressing on two of my contracts uh, because we were we didn't have the bonding. So like, woof, we were able to, because they were negotiated jobs, uh, we were able to talk with the government and uh, have them push out the actual dates from when uh, we had to actually deliver the bond. So we were able to sign the contract awards and then the government pushed out the, the bond date for us to allow us to actually accept the contract. So again, when you have relationships with these agencies, they can do all kinds of things, make exceptions for you, change the rules. Um, because again, we, you know, it's, they, they, they have that ability, but when you're just bidding blindly and you don't know the people, then it makes it really tough for you to ask for, uh, an exception to the rule. So, um, again, 
you know, I'm telling people out there is is that build those relationships, nurture them, develop them, um, because they're going to pay off dividends in the long term. I know it seems easier to go on bid match, bid search, bid sing, and just bid, bid, bid. But I'm telling you, those relationships, if it wasn't for those relationships, I would not have, I would have lost $1.2 million in contracts today if it was not for relationships. I can promise you that. It was literally $1.2 million in contracts that we signed today that they wanted to give us, but we did not have our bonding. And because we didn't have bonding, that's a criteria of getting the contract. And we told them that um, we, we couldn't do it. So um, we were able to basically, uh, ultimately what we did was we uh, said that because of the winter conditions, we were gonna start the projects after winter, which would be you know next year. And then could they then make the bonding due uh, prior to us actually getting ready to, to mobilize and start the contract, as opposed to like normal standards, it's due um, right after you sign the actual agreement. So we were able to push back the the bond date, right, in terms of when they were due, in order to um, be able to fulfill the uh, contracts. And because again, the government's trying to obligate funds today. This is the last day to obligate funds. So we worked it out, and and yeah, free throw Frank doesn't seem real. Um, but it is. And so what I want to say is, again, the, they can do a lot of things out here. Like they could do a lot of stuff. Um, let me go check in. My man's dialing in right now. Let's just talk to him real quick. What's up, Barber World? Nicky Nick. Sean, Kevin. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, what's going on, baby? How you doing? Um, yeah, I was asking the question, trying to see... Um how exactly do we because I, I watched a video and the woman was talking about how she got started in government contracting and what happened was for her to actually bid on those contracts right. she was getting an advance to buy the materials up front you know I, I don't the the only time that I've seen them do that are really really small items. Really small items. Yeah, I've, um, it's far fewer in between that they do that on big stuff. You have oh. to actually produce it in order to be able to um, get paid, right? Yeah. So, but it's okay because you know what we teach is building your supplier credit. So you don't need them to give you an advance. Uh, what's the item that you're considering? Uh, right now, I'm looking at a bid right now on uh, beta.sam. What's the item? It's um, lighting fixtures. Okay, lighting fixtures. Okay, so uh, let me give you an example. Uh, we have a student that just won a contract this year. I mean, this month, I'm sorry, that she bought a snowplow machine that was $130,000. Like wow. Okay, she doesn't have a 700 score. She don't, I don't even know if she got a 600 score. <laughs> I ain't want to press her. I know she didn't have eight and she didn't have seven. She just told me to shut up after that. But, because <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you pick it on me now. But nevertheless, she went to the supplier and asked for credit to buy the item because it was going to the government. Okay. So what you do is you go to the supplier who has the item to see if they will give, extend you credit. What's the process of applying for credit right, uh, with that particular company, that account, or it's becoming a distributor for that particular company so that you can get a credit account set up. Okay. And then that's going to that's gonna help you in the long run anyways because I'm going to tell you why. Um, a couple things it's going to help you with is because, one, you should get better pricing as a distributor. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So now you can be more competitive. And then the other thing is now you're actually building a business because you're building a relationship with the supply company, right? So even if you don't get that bid, that may could be your new industry. And what if uh, what if there's something is something that's like a one off thing and you don't you won't even use that company very often? I, I was still I but the thing is so what happens if it's if it's a, so let's say I don't think this girl's gonna get into selling snowplows very often. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, a one-off yeah. thing, right? Like, I mean, I live in Florida. We don't need snow plows. Yeah, I don't I mean, even know what it looks like. I'm in Florida too. I'm in Orlando, so you know. So there you go. So like, <laughs> I don't, so to me, I don't think anyone buys snow plows all the time. So that's like a one-off thing. But what she said was, because 
again, going back to the government contract tip or angle, because it was for a government contract, they knew she wasn't buying a snowplow to like just a stunt so. on a snow plow. <laughs> so, <laughs> you get me? Like that's kind of what I try to explain to people is like you guys don't understand. Supplier credit is not like a credit card. You yeah. can't go and waste it. What you gonna buy three snow plows, put it in a front yard? Like they just you can't waste. So they understand that. The only reason why you'd want a snowplow is to sell it to the government. Well, the government, so they're, they're basing off the government's credit. Yeah. Government. So you get me? So it's a lot easier than you think to get credit set up with these people. In fact, Johnny on, on the chat just said to me, he got his IT credit line set up um, recently. He thanked me for that. So again, it's a lot easier than you believe. Most of us just don't try. And I'm sure if you're on my IG, you've seen some of that in my feed, right? Like. Yeah. You didn't even try. You already discounted. You don't. Whoever told you about getting advanced, I promise you that person. What do you think? What do you think? They're not. They're small. not. They're not. I would not. I would say they're not credible. What do you think is small, though? Because she was saying that it was a. She was saying it was a small contract and it was like a hundred and something grand or something like that. It's not true. It's not yeah. true. Okay. It's not true. That's it's not sure. true. I'm telling you, it's not true. Okay, I'll just, I'll just make sure. I'll just ask because I've seen. Listen, I, I I don't believe her. I don't believe her. I don't know who she is, and I don't believe her. <laughs> I don't. I would want. I would want her to show me the advance like she check. Got the huh? contract. Give her a seventy-five thousand dollars check to buy the material. She's like, she's like they're handing you a check. Like I'm like, I'm like that sounds kind of kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? The government. So you're telling me the government's just handing people checks to buy stuff with no repercussion like just here get a check buy it and show up with it yeah I'll you gotta be careful there's a lot of charlatans out there there's a lot of charlatans there's a lot of people out there especially if they're on ig <laughs> 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 like there's a lot of, you know i mean there's a lot of people say stuff and and, and i will say this the uh when it came time for ppe um they did make those mistakes but they don't do them anymore gotcha. and they learn from that in fact, I interviewed someone where governments literally lost tens of millions of dollars uh, giving out checks to people in advance for PPE. But that was a pandemic. That's a once in a lifetime, you know, type of issue. But yeah. for someone to and, and, and by the look, why would you let's say that it did happen to her? Right. That's not the norm. So do you really want to base your business model on some, something that's an exception to the rule? Yeah. Yeah. You can't. It's not a business model. It's not. It's not yeah. Tell her I would like for me if she if she was on this call with you where you were sitting at I would tell her let's go to, I want to see that who the agency was that gave you that check I want to see it and then I want to go to them and I want to bid a contract and see if they'll give me a check too. <laughs> that's what I would say. Yeah, that's what I want. It's a lie. It's it's it's, yeah. it's that don't happen, man. Come on. It's, it's it sounds too good to be true. I'm like well, that just sounds like too you know. Don't don't. Don't fall for that stuff, man. Trust me. You look. You're in Orlando. Go to Orlando City Procurement and see if they'll give you advances. <laughs> <laughs> Watch how silly you look. Watch how silly you look. Uh, yeah. This lady on IG said, you, "I get advanced before you know." It, I mean, think about how much how. If they did that, we would never have a chance at building a business because, who, why would they need us? What 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 value do you bring? I just I, I have to question that. What what value do you need? What do you bring to the table? They were they were making the case in the video that um, the government needs to spend this money. So they, right, but why did they don't have to spend it with you? Yeah, so they were just. But they don't have to spend it with you. Yeah. So even though they have to spend the money, they don't have to spend it with you. Yeah. Why would the people that came along before us not already be doing this? True. How you know how we how would we even get into the how, what room would there be for us to create value in space? Like there would be no room for us to come into the marketplace if they were just giving out people blank checks. It just it's not it, it again. I want you to uh, I want and I and I say this with all sincerity. I want people to realize that the reason why this this marketplace and what we do and what we show is so valuable is because it is hard. That's what yeah. makes it valuable. Yeah, that's I, why it's valuable. I, it's hard. I got a uh, register with Sam. I guess I got everything yesterday. So 
Look, 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 look. Karen just said governors are getting in trouble for hooking their friends up with COVID federal money. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just saying. It, I mean, yeah, I would. Uh, next time you're on a chat with that person, make them show you the check. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see your advance check. I want to see you got a contract. I mean, look. I, yeah, I would love to see that. 75000 just. Give me your. I want to know. I want to see 75000 advance. Yeah. Seventy five thousand on check is not impressive. I want to see a seventy five thousand on advance. Yeah, I want to see a seventy five thousand on advance. My buddy, one of my really, uh, he was uh, one of my mentors. He did PPE stuff, and he got like ten percent advance or twenty percent advance. He sent me a copy of the check. Yeah, I mean, he was like, "Look, they get because I was like, I mean, I was, I was struggling like hell to like get." them to even agree with me on terms and he's getting a check yeah i'm like how'd you do that well his friend knew the mayor so the mayor trusted them so they cut them a check in advance gotcha are you gonna build a business case off of that yeah that's gonna be far that's gonna be far <laughs> <laughs> hey look that's i tell you i i you know i started off uh maria said i want to know who that liar is nikki says i want to see that check See, my these my people actually do this for a living, so we yeah, just you know. Can, you can find the video, man. This, this guy he does on YouTube is um, it's called Casino. Is the name? I don't know if you ever heard of him. I don't. I don't. Look but he does a he does a the, the way she uh explained it. She was a woman woman. She had a woman owned business, minority mm -hmm. and veteran, all that. So I guess Does it, none of that means anything. <laughs> I wish Karen could come on and tell you that. And what she said in our group, she says, you better not call me talking about you a woman, you a minority. I don't want to hear that. Can you do the job or not? That's it. <laughs> what does that say about you doing a job? What does anything that you just mentioned to me say how well you can do perform the work? Uh, if you come to my house and want to fix my air conditioning, you tell me I'm a woman, I'm a minority. I'm going to say, can you fix my air conditioning? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> what would you say? I said, thank you. Um, I Thanks, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, exactly. Like, <laughs> what would you say if someone came to your house and you called English people and they say, I'm a woman, I'm a minority, I'm a veteran. What would you say to them? Thanks. Uh, the air conditioner's right here. <laughs> 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 that's, what, that's the way I fit that. And so think about, we don't look at that, how silly we seem. We're talking to procurement people. And the people say, look, we... We have a job for uh, air conditioning repair. What are your qualifications? What have, yeah. what have you done this in the past? How many times have you done this kind of air conditioning? Do you know what the kind of system is? Do you know what type of filters it takes? Do you know uh, what are the proper ratios of a Freon that goes in the lines? Do you understand how to do testing and balancing for the systems? Do you even know what testing and balancing is for air conditioning system? How many, what type, what types of matching systems uh, are compliant with the ones that we have in here? What are some alternative systems that we could use? Is it square duck? Is it round duck? I'm a, I'm a woman. I'm a minority. I'm a veteran. <laughs> uh, oh, that just sounds ridiculous. Now. <laughs> it just sounds ridiculous. Yeah. And that's the way I hear it when people tell me that. And that's why, again, those people that are pushing that are, are, certification pushers they're trying to sell people on buying certifications and that's all they can sell you because they can't teach you how to actually do anything else yeah so i'm i'm constantly having to disprove them i, I look i always tell people I, I would love to do a versus with any of those people <laughs> <laughs> i would i would love like if you could hook that up bro be like look i got this guy say y'all some liars I, do a versus with this guy <laughs> i would love to do it I would love to reach out, man. I'll see what I see what we put together. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt they're gonna get over here and do that, man. I ain't gonna love they're not gonna do it, bro. They're not gonna do it. They're not. They're not gonna do it because they. It's it's just not. It's not. It's not true. It's not yeah. true. So, you know, it's not. It's not that easy. But again, you don't really want it easy because if you know what I always think about and I tell my people and I, I learned this from a really wealthy guy who gave me advice about real estate and I said, um, I said, hey. You know, it's really hard. And, I, and so for me, I'm, I was new to real estate investing, right? Yeah. So uh, one of my guys who I used to work at his house, he he literally, this guy, he lived like, he lived in the same neighborhood as Ray Allen did when Ray Allen played for the Heat. Oh, like, man. you got to go through two gates, <laughs> you yeah. know? 
he lived in, and I mean, that neighborhood is so popular. There's nothing for sale there. There's like maybe one or two houses a year go for sale there because people don't want to leave. Like they don't even want to leave that neighborhood. And um, so he, I said to him, I said, man, I said, look, I said, you know, it's really hard buying real estate properties. And I go, it's, you know, it's tough. And he goes, Eric, he says, that's perfect for you. He says, because the smart people figure it out and they make all the money. And that's the way that I want you to look at it is that you want it to be hard because then all you have to do is become one of the smart people who figure it out and then you make all the money. That's, that's why, what, that's, that's why that's I pulled off $1.2 million in contracts today. How many did you get? Zero. I'm realizing right now, I'm like, man, I'm like all the videos I've seen, no, I, I'm, I've just found your videos or whatever. Okay. But I've been watching a lot of other videos, and it's like everybody's like, "Oh, it's so easy, you know. Oh, you go on here, you just bid a contract, yeah. and you get it." And yeah. I'm looking at it, I'm like, "Man, I'm, I'm like, damn, I gotta do pricing. I gotta see if I can get this shipped. Oh my god, man! It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, Some no, it, it's not. It's not easy. Really fine. You gotta. You, it's they, not easy. It's it's not. Um, Look, Karen just said too many people lose out on their 8A because they think that it's a slam dunk. And people go, and again, I get it. People go out and push this stuff. They push, 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 push. Um, but, you know, again, I, I come on to share examples of, of people winning, people succeeding. So I let you know that it's not impossible, right, to do. And that's, you know, that's what we talk about. It's not impossible. There's, there's some really basic steps out there that you can follow and really start to understand the process. So, it's definitely not impossible, but yeah, it is, it's hard. It takes work. You gotta, you know, you gotta put in the work. I mean, I, you know, these contracts came from relationships that I developed for the last 18 months. Yeah. I've been working these relationships for 18 months, 18 months. Okay. Yeah. So it, this didn't, I didn't get these contracts because of something I did yesterday. Yeah. This is something I did in 2018. So I planted these seeds in 2018. Yeah. Now they're starting to bear fruit. Okay, so now I'm finally eating my mangoes. I'm eating my avocados from my seeds that I planted, you know, back in 2018. Yeah. Now I'm eating my avocados and mangoes. But you can't expect to eat an avocado mango with a seed. <laughs> 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 and yeah. people think, like, they're going to eat the seed. Like, they're going to plant the seed, and all of a sudden they're going to eat an avocado the next day or a mango. Like, that's just not how it works. You got, you know, I had to water it. I had to make sure it had sunlight. I had to make sure you till the soil. Like, I had to do all of that kind of stuff. For the last 18 months and really um now again now you're like you see it grow up a little bit you, and you get you meet the people they talk to you they take your call they take a meeting but this is m like months right it's not like the same month you know yeah. one month the guy takes your phone call you're like oh great he took my phone call right and then two months later uh he's like all right what's up a meeting but he didn't set it up he just said it will set it up right and then yeah. and then two months later you know, he's like, all right, uh, we're going to consider you for a project. And then and then two months later, he's like, yeah, uh, we're still working on a project. I mean, he kept saying, follow up with me in two months, follow up with me in two months, follow up with me in two months. And I just kept following up, following up in two months. I would follow yeah. up in two months. And he was busy. And he was like, I'm sorry, we're working on it. We're trying, you know, we're trying. We're trying to get to the right project. And, um, and then finally, right, um, he knows, hey, we have something. Yeah. OK, and then can you do this? And by the way, when they call you for something, they call you. It's like last minute. We got something, but we need it like done by Friday. And you're like, <laughs> uh, right. So you've been, like, you've been waiting a whole year, a year and, and a half. half right. No, and then all of a sudden, I was like, we got something, but I need it by Friday. Yeah. What are you going to say? No. Not after, not after a year and a half. Not after a year and a half. <laughs> you were like, yes, yes, I could do it. I could do it. Yeah. And so that's. That's what happened. Um, is that they literally just again? It's the government. The only reason, and I won't say the only reason, but one of the reasons why they called me was because somebody else was not performing and not delivering on the contracts. Yeah. So finally, it made room for me to come in. So that allowed me to come now in. You got I have been, huh? Stop, baby! It's time to, time to perform. That's right. That's <laughs> like, hey, what happens? Like, in a, like, hey, basketball or football, or something. Quarterback get hurt. All right, hey, hey get out of here. Get off the field. You've been practicing all this time. You want to get out here? You start. You're the new starter, right? So yeah, man. just like Dak. That's what happened to Dak Prescott, right? It's like, all right, hey, your number's been called. Get out here. Let's go. Like, like every two months when you followed up, it's like practice, man. You were coming practice, practice. You're practicing. You're, there you go. You're practicing. You're practicing for your time when it's game time. 
And I was practicing and following up and practicing and practicing. And I was ready. I had been training. I had been ready. I had been doing my push-ups. I had been doing all my exercises. I have been doing my squat. Look, I did my leg press. I did everything, man. I've been eating right just because when that day came. And then when he called my number, baby, I jumped in. Oh, tell me your, your hand was raised high. What? <laughs> hey, listen, you know, they called me out on the field. Guess what? By next year, I'll be Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> you know, they gave my first shot. Like, come on, come on, first game, okay. All man, right, start performing good. You gotta start re renegotiating that contract. Right, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> they renegotiate that money. <laughs> you start renegotiating the money. So you know, that's really. I mean, that's what it is, and that's yeah. kind of you know, that's you know, in a fun, light manner, really. And then you can see, look, I like to have fun. I'm, I'm a joke. I'm silly, but again, we. Look, once you figure out, and I'm going to say why, why, the reason why I say it's easy is because anyone can do it. Yeah. That's the easy part. It's yeah. easy because anyone can do it. So um, it's easy from the standpoint of the fact that um, be, what I like about the federal government is, yes, okay, the person says they're minority. That's great. The, the only thing I could, would say about that is they don't discriminate. So that's a good thing, right? Because there are industries where we can go into where people would discriminate against us. Yeah. This is not one of them. So, so that's what makes it also easy because you don't have, you're not facing that, that blockage there, yeah. you know, there's, so that's not one more hurdle that you have to actually overcome. So the fact that any one of us can do it. And then the fact that we don't have to deal with the, the adversity thing in terms of being minorities, that's, that, like my man just said, this gives us a level playing field. So then that makes it easy for us because we know as black and brown people, we don't always have that in every particular marketplace and every industry. That's not always the case. So that's what I really like about it um, is that those facts is because we can show up and no one's going to be like, oh, no, nah, this guy, he not. I'm not going to look at him. I'm not going to consider him for work, right? He's, they're going to be like, no, nah, I mean, what can you do? What can you perform? I've never had anyone question me. Um, because we, we show performance and ability, but I, again, I don't lead with certifications or I'm Brown, I'm black, I'm minority. I don't lead with that stuff. Yeah, I don't. I, I tell people I'm a great company. Um, and we happen to be small business. So but, do, you, do you think the 8 eight certification and all that, do you think that's necessary or no? Oh, um, I think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary at all. I think that when people it's, it's necessary only when, uh, people start asking you, do you have eight eight? When people start asking you, right, hey, um, Jamal, do you have 8A? And you're like, no, should I? I'm like, well, it would help. And then, you know, go someplace. Like, hey, Jamal, you got 8A. Hey, you got 8A. You got 8A. When people start asking those things, then that's when you should get 8A, not before. Yeah. Okay. Not before. Learn. The, you have to learn the business because, again, if you read the, the, the chat Karen said earlier, so many people get 8A thinking it's a slam dunk. Yeah. And I mean, I get I get emails and calls from people at 8A that have no contracts every week. Yeah. Three years, four years in a program. You can go to my YouTube channel and see people's comments. It says, I've been in 8A for four years. I have no contracts. Three years, no contracts. Damn. Go to my YouTube channel, type in 8A, and you'll see four or five videos where my guest talked about the one of the biggest mistakes that people make is getting 8A too soon. Mm. So... So, yeah, because if you don't know how to do it, like you just told me, you don't even have a supplier credit. No. So what's 8A going to do for you? <laughs> I just told you, what's 8A supposed to do? So, you know. My 8A is like this big cape. Superman. Right, man. Superman cape. <laughs> what? But then what are you going to do? But how are you going to deliver? How are you going to perform? Where are you going to get money from? Where are you going to get resources? Where's, what is 8A doesn't do any of that for you? So what? So where do you? How do you get all the other stuff that you need to, to actually be a business? When again, going back to the AC example, okay, um, we have a we have an AC contract. Your eight A will give you the AC contract. You can we got, you, you can have it. What are you gonna do? You, you don't even know what to do. Like, and they're not giving you no money up front. So, all right, here's a, here's a three hundred thousand dollar AC contract. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get hurt. You're gonna hurt yourself, right? Um, you know, my, my recommendation would be to go work with someone who's already in that, that arena. What's up, Pierce? And, um, and then find out from them the real ropes. Yeah. 
you know, go in there and work with someone who's in that arena and find out the ropes and let them show you how it really goes down, not what somebody on IG tells you. Yeah. Okay. All right, man. Well, I mean, I appreciate you, man. No, nah, thanks for coming on. But, yeah, definitely watch those supplier credit videos, that they're good ones to watch, and then uh, the 8A videos are good. Look, you know, I've got 300 videos online, so you will, there's not probably not a question you're going to ask. Yeah, I'm, going, I'm going through them, man. I'm, I'm really going through them. I'm like, yeah. man, it's a lot of information right here. It's a lot of information, but it, it but also just use it to ask, like, a Q&A to answer your questions when you have a question about something. Yeah. All right? All right, man. Thank thanks you Thanks for coming on. Be good. Yes, sir. All right. Let's see. Rafa. Maybe she hit it by accident. Johnny, jump on. Hold up. Looks like my man Mo's coming on. Eric, what's up, brother? <laughs> I said, looks like Mo's coming on. <laughs> what's How are you, up, man? man? Pretty good, man. Pretty what do you, good. What do you think about that last guy's call? Uh, I think that it sounds like he's on the right track as long as, you know, he sticks to the script and uh, uh, especially follow the instructions you give him about building relationships because I did definitely want to underline that and – I think it's like the only reason why I I'm, I have any money coming in is because of relationships that I've built, you know, over the last years almost. You know? Years, right? So, so yeah. wait, but did, have you ever had a government give you an advance? No, but I did once get a credit card uh, uh, for a contract, but that's only because there was a there was a an emergency. It was for a hurricane contract, and mm -hmm. they needed water. So I think in a situations a like that, a small purchase amount. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, I, w <laughs> I wouldn't even have asked, you know, the the lady from the contracting officer from the Department of State for any kind of, you know, an advance or anything. I just, I wouldn't. I, f I think I'd sound almost like a rookie if I did that. Yeah, you know I mean? right. Like, yeah. No, I think you know that's that's what happens. So go ahead. But, no, but it is. Now. Yeah, but it, it is. But I could imagine though, it must be really difficult though to. You know, to to cross that, you know, if you don't have supplier credit, like it might maybe bring in investors. Is, do you think that that would be a, a well, wise thing that, to do? I think that for me, um, I wouldn't try to jump into an industry where I couldn't get supplier credit. And I wouldn't even try to bring in investors. The reason why is because you don't have any experience. Like in your case, maybe, yeah, because, you, you know, like you've done it before, right? And so right. Uh, you have the experience. You've proven yourself. But if you've never done this, right, and this is the example I always tell people, it's not just for the money. Because a lot of times I have the money to buy the stuff. But what happens if your supplier brings you the wrong stuff? Yeah, yeah, you're, you're on the hook. I mean, you're on the hook. You pay yeah. the cash. And then what happens? You're absolutely right. But, so so what is, for what me, is, when I've had situations where my supplier has brought the wrong stuff, I'm not paying for this. Right, 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 right. I'm right. like, so we then we go in and um, we go back. We look at our documents. This is what I asked. This is what I requested. You know, and then and they're like, oh, you're right. You said yellow. We said you blue. Right, 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 right. I'm like, no, yeah. you make a, you make a really really good point. That's um, where that's where my argument is. Right, right. Get and the money because we have some some at some point you have some money, right? Let's say you know you have more than maybe this particular contract calls for. You could right. buy it, right? But then, what happens if it's wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got there's uh, there's no there's not much room for error. There's no room point. for error. Yeah, and especially me right now, like I don't know if you remember, I told you I just recently quit my job, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm officially the only person that quits their job during the pandemic, as <laughs> <laughs> opposed to getting fired. Well, you know, you quit your job because uh, you know you brought in some money and stuff, and. For sure, for sure. And then, and I mean, all I've been doing since I left my job is just, you know, sticking to the script, just right. looking to, for who, which contracting officers and which agencies are spending the money for things right. in my industry. Yeah. And then I just try to build relationships just right. like the one that I have with, with you know, the lady that yeah, gave the me lady those that last with, right. four contracts. So I, I think that that's, that's my plan. Just 
continue building these relationships and, uh, and, and continuing to work with integrity and, and, and you know, and, and really do the right thing. But I just wanted to just tell like a really quick story. Uh, I won't take up too much time, but Go for um, it. I'm a college dropout, all right? I, I don't wanna say I hated school, but I was, I was, I was, I'm, I'm really, I really d disliked having to go to school every day. Um, also, when I was 20 years old, I was hanging out with the wrong crowd and I actually got arrested and I actually was locked up for a year and a half. Mm. Um, now, fast forward, you know, 14 years later, now I'm selling supplies to the same prison that I was locked up at. So if that's not a complete 360, then I don't know what is. You know, you know, it's funny, Mo, that you said that. Um, I was on a YouTube live with my boy John on Monday. And he didn't say this. But when we went to dinner after the YouTube, because I went to his office to do the YouTube. Mm -hmm. He said, Eric, you know, it's crazy, right? I've been winning disinfecting contracts. And the last one I won is at one of like the, like the detention center. Okay. He says, my co-defendant, when I got locked up, we're <laughs> sitting here cleaning the detention center going, <laughs> Can you freaking believe this? <laughs> That's crazy, you know? man. That's... And he spent like a couple of years in, in jail as well, or prison, whatever. whatever. And he was like, can you believe we're not cleaning the detention center? Uh, and we were two co-defendants on this case. Look at that, man. I, I Look think at that. that. That's remarkable. I, I really, and a lot, of, and I'm glad you shared that. And I thank you for that because it obviously takes a lot to, to tell the truth and tell your story. But, you know, what's amazing is, um, and I had someone literally text me about this yesterday because, uh, he was looking at a form about whether he's incarcerated, and he uh, he said he got he got like one day arrested for like a traffic stop. I'm like, bro, yeah, but you know, <laughs> tell him no one's gonna care. But he was still worried about that, and he was he was apprehensive about that, and um, and I'm like, Dude, you know, yeah, yeah. So yeah, for me, it was just like I wanted to really just prove to myself that. I have turned a complete other page. Wow. You know what I mean? Right. And, uh, and, 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 and now I, and I use all of, you know, like my history and my experience to kind of just like really push me into, you know, just moving further in my career and doing a better job and, you know, just trying to outwork anyone that's around me. There you, you go. You know what I mean? That's the way to, that's the way to look at that. That's awesome. I think, I think honestly, um, it seems to me in my experiences, right. That, that people like yourself who experience those those challenges and hardship work harder. Yeah, I, mean, I do. I honestly I mean, believe that. I think people, again, one of the things I write in my book is that my, you know, my millionaire friends don't have college degrees, and my college friends are not millionaires. And <laughs> <laughs> and it's my 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 most my people that are dropouts and and you know ex cons whatever. They, those people are successful people because. Uh, they take up trades and they go into trade industries and because they have a felony or because, they, you know, they can't get a job, no one hire them. So they start businesses and they right. become business owners. Right. Right. right and right. then they end up hiring all the college degree people to work for them. Look at and, that. Look and at that. So, that's, that's incredible. <laughs> it's, 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 that's been my real life experiences. It just happening. My, my buddy now who makes a, a lot of money, I mean, he went to jail. For, he was robbing dope guys. He was kicking in people's doors. I'm like, are you? Like, if you look at him, you're like, right, 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 right. I mean, think about think about the kind of person to be to rob a drug person. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, robbing, you have to you have to lady. be deep in there. You have you, to be deep in the game. You gotta be deep to be like robbing. <laughs> like you go into my house that has guns and weapons and stuff. Like you want to rob other bad people who already are. I'm like, you gotta be. Deep, right, deep. right, and look and look at him now. And today, you know I mean? oh no, today he's 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 the most successful uh, contractor in certain categories in Miami Dade County. There's right, look there's two that, categories man. here. He's the most successful guy in those categories. He's been called in because they thought that he was paying like the mayor and stuff because he was getting so much work from them. <laughs> wow, uh, uh, and that's it, incredible. And it's just it's just a matter of other people in his space never bothered to learn the business. So they never got the supplier credits. They never got lines of credits. They never, you know, they were spending their money as fast as they make it because that's another problem we have as small businesses. As handyman behind the truck, um, you know, we're not saving the capital. You make some money, right? And then they go out and buy a car, they stunt, they buy clothes. They're not keeping the money in the business. So then when it comes right. time to go to a bank and ask for some credit, 
right? right I can't. Right, right. Their bank's like, well, you, what are your assets? Oh, I got this car. I got, right, right, right. That's they not an asset. That. You don't have nothing. I so know. No, got, honestly, yeah, for me, even, like, the last couple of concerts that I won, like, I made more money than I ever seen in my life. And it's like, I'm definitely tempted to go get a Rolex. Yeah, go, right. Yes, hey, get a new Beamer. Yeah. But I'm like, you know what? Nah, this isn't the time. Right now is a, the time to build, right. you know what I mean? And really, really focus and, and get ready for the next contract that comes back now, around. Now, Mo, let me ask you something, because we've been talking for a while. When did you start? You didn't tell people about your history and how do we start? Like, how, when we started? Because so, I talked to your boss and stuff, like, a year Right, right, right. Ago. So, yeah, yeah. So, um, I, so... I got hired for Rafa, a hold on. Rafa, I see you. We're going to tag you in, Rafa, afterwards. <laughs> so I, uh, when I didn't have a job, somebody told me about a temp position in a police and military supply company, and they needed someone that does sales. So I had no job. So I don't care what they would have, anything, any position they would have asked for. I was like, yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Just throw me in there. Yeah. So I started working for this company doing sales for them. So I was reaching out to police departments and agencies all across America, just uh, trying to see who would be interested in buying, right. you know, police military it. equipment. Right. So then, um, so, I, so then they kept on di directing me over to their like local websites or their state pages for us to sign, for me to sign up as a vendor. So I started doing that and doing that. But, you know, in the meantime, we were getting phone calls from different government agencies, like the department of state, different embassies all over the place, department of Homeland security, asking us for stuff as well. And um, they had uh, told, uh, told me about website FedBid. So I started bidding on FedBid and, 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 and I noticed that there was a lot of competition on FedBid. Um, but, but the one thing that I actually did do though, which is really interesting, well, wait. So I started doing that for a while, didn't win anything for, for like about a year, year and a half. I came across your page because I YouTube government contracting or government contractor for dummies or how do I start government contracting? Mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I came across your YouTube page and, you know, and, and the way that you explained how to do it was in a very eloquent and very simple way for, you know, just the average person to just understand. Because go when, some when you, somebody hears government contracting, for them, it's a little intimidating, right? Okay, okay, yeah, until yeah, you absolutely. Actually, yeah. Right, so I'll tell you, explain it to them slowly. So after, you know, watching those videos and signing up and doing the course, I, I, and, and how much you stressed, you know, having relationships that was, you know, for me, that was like, you know what, I'm really good at building relationships. I'm not really that good at selling, but I'm really good right. at building a relationship, right? That's what I know how to do. Um, and, and I knew that I know that I was an honest person and I work with a lot of integrity. So that's what I started doing. And just so everyone out there knows how I got this, that last th four contracts over the last six months, what I did was if you sign up on FedBid, and you have a question. So when you're on FedBid and you're looking at a bid, you usually don't have information about who the contracting officer is uh, because FedBid is the one who's pulling, putting out these solicitations. So, but you can, however, request the contact information of the contracting officer through FedBid. So by sending them an email and putting the buy number in the subject Real area, quick, real quick. Time yeah. about FedBid is now Unison Global. Yes, yes. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Yes, Unison right. Global. Yeah. So um, there was a bid uh, for during the coronavirus for um, uh, for masks, gloves, masks and gloves. So if anybody's ever been on Unison before, you can't just bid on one of the items. You have to bid on both of the items or none of the items. So I requested the contact information from FedBid. They gave me the cell phone number of um, the contracting officer. So I called her and I introduced myself and I said, listen, is there any way I could I could just bid on the on the masks? and not bid on the gloves. Even though I knew what the answer was, I just wanted her to hear my voice anyway and introduce myself. And she says, you know what? You, you actually can't. You're going to have to bid on both of them or none of them. So I told her, okay, well, I still wanted to just introduce myself and I wanted to let you know that if there's anything that you need or if you get stuck with something, you could, you could call me literally anytime, 24 hours a day. I don't care if it's a holiday. I don't care if it's my birthday. Call me anytime. And before I even got off the phone, she was like, wait, 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 since I have you on the phone, there are some other requests that I have that I, that, that, you know, that I have. So I told her, uh, so she was like, can I send you an email? I'm like, yeah, of course you can. So while I'm on the phone with her, she's sending me all these emails. And then I asked her, I said, wait, um, are you going to end up putting this out for bid anyway? So she says, actually, no, I don't need to put out the rest of these for bid. I could just award it to, to, to you, to whoever gives me the best price. Right. Mm -hmm. So, 
I started grinding. I started working right. She asked me for like five different things. One of them was a pulse oximeter. And, and I, didn't, I never even heard of an oximeter before. <laughs> but I was like, she's like, can you get it? I'm like, yeah, I could definitely get it. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Right? I'll worry about that later. I know. You start, that's when you start reaching out to us in the Facebook right, group right. and everybody in the page. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, so out of the five different things that she asked me for, I was able to get her two. Yeah. And, um, and she awarded us the contract, but she awarded it through to my company, to the company that I worked for, right? right, right yeah. So then after a while, I just started. So then I made some money, right? I made yeah, some yeah, money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember, that, right? you got, yeah, you're like, yo, right. e, I made some money. Like, right, right. So yeah. at that point, by so the way, back I, by the way, yeah. that's back in the days when I used to give people my phone number. <laughs> <laughs> right. But so, cool. so, uh, so uh, months later, which is a couple of weeks ago she called me and she said hey listen um is there any way you can get us more oximeters right so i told her i said listen i actually opened up my own company is there any way we could just do it through my company so she said are you signed up do you have a duns number yes do, or do you have your sam registration yes so for me it was just like thank god i had all that stuff right all right. the whole checklist yeah, that, yeah, you, you know this is the first couple of chapters on, on the govcon Giants course. So next thing you know, I wake up in the morning, like I, 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 like a week later, I wake up in the morning and I see an email with a purchase order there with my company name on it. And it was the greatest feeling ever. I mean, look, money's not everything. Right. But when you right. see, right. you know, six of uh, six figures on a purchase order. Wait, what's your I mean, name that, on that, it? That, 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 my name on, that put a team What's your on name on it? I mean, yeah, man. My no, name on it, I was like, Nah, you so gave me chills, bro. You gave me chills. You gave me chills. I love it. Because that. I've been through so much bullshit, man, and I and I try yeah. to cut corners a lot when I was younger. And then when once I realized, look, you could do this legitimately. You know what I mean? Right. You can make money legitimately. Yeah. And 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 don't look at other people. Don't look at your competition. Just focus on on, on what you know what you need to do. And yeah. And and I gotta thank you for that, Eric. You know yeah. what I mean? There's like that that whole bit on relationships, relationships, relationships is truly the most important thing and uh, no that's that's that's, no, that's that's that was powerful man that was a powerful story <laughs> today man i, I you, made brother. my day today bro let me <laughs> ask you, you something real quick i just i mean <laughs> when you bought the course did your company buy it or did you buy it the company bought it okay that's what i thought i thought the company bought it for you to learn right yeah yeah they bought it for me to learn yeah. i convinced them and i told them i'm like listen you i mean it was a good investment for them because them paying for that led to me being able to score right. so, their so contracts, right? Let me ask you this, because okay. you know what? Let me tell you why I want to ask this question, because so many people be like, oh, Eric, I don't have this money. How much did you pay for the course? Do you remember how much you paid? I don't remember. I'm, I don't, maybe like seven, eight hundred dollars six hundred dollars Yeah, exactly. Five, how much money did the company make? Oh, man, I made that do $350,000 clean. Three hundred fifty thousand dollars clean. I made. Ooh, I made for him. Three hundred fifty <laughs> clean. Yeah. So I mean, everything's paid for. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, he wasn't. I mean, he's not happy that I left. Oh, of course right? not. He's not happy at all. But, but but again, you know what? The thing is, um, you're not the first person to hear. It. Like I'm saying, like that. You're not the first guy to say that to happen to them. People kind of forget. Like, hey, you know, take care of me. I, you know, like. And again, you and I talk. You never mentioned me. You were thinking about leaving, right? So I thought mm -hmm. everything was on up and up, and uh, you know you were <laughs> telling me, "Hey, this is good, and things are working out." But I listen. I get it. I was there before too. I look when I made this guy, and, and it's funny you said three fifty. I remember we did this uh, with my eight A guys. We did a seven hundred thousand dollar contract, and they, you know, they made like um, four hundred grand or something like that. And the guy gave me like, you know, he gives you like thirty Gs or forty Gs. You're like. What? Right, you didn't do right, anything. Right. And then taxes on top of that? Yeah. You like, know, you know, you, look, and it's like, oh, but you made 40 Gs. I'm like, yeah, but what? Did, you didn't do anything. Like, I brought the whole deal to you. I found a supplier. I got did the, put the whole thing together. Right. And you did nothing. You didn't have to cut a check. Like, you didn't put any money up front. You didn't make any investments. And this is it. This is. That's by the way, exactly that guy never has done another federal contract since I left him. Really? Because I did everything. Wow. They Look never that, bothered man. to learn the business. They never right. bothered to learn the business. Yeah. Um, That's why this information is, is, is like a treasure. You know, it's like, it's, it's extremely important. Like, like, you know, but, but I understand why he never took the time to learn it because it is intimidating. Like I have a crew of seven friends. 
Um, and, and, you know, they asked me, hey, what, how's work? Or what did you do? And as soon as I started telling them, you could just see them, like, drifting away and <laughs> they just not interested at all. And it's like, you know what? That's a good thing. I yeah. want this to be complicated and complex. Yeah. I don't want everybody to know how to do it, right? That's what but, I just said. That's what I just right? said. I just, I just told the young man that right before you jumped on. I said the same thing. I go, you want this to be complicated. It's perfect. That's why the, it creates more opportunities for people like you and myself who take the time to learn how to do this business the right way. Absolutely. So I'm Absolutely. happy for it. I mean, look, listen, we, I'm not, I'm not going to open it up today, but when I, I'm going to a meeting Friday. I'm flying Friday to go discuss some really big stuff. And you know what? I'm going to wait till I pull it down before we talk about it. But it's just, <laughs> okay. it's, it's just, it, listen, it's mind blowing stuff. Good, right? good, good, good. It, That's what's like, up. So, you know, but I want to put it back because, you know, what I want to share it with you guys because I know someone like yourself, you're going to be inspired. You're going to be motivated by this. And you're going to be like, look, if Eric said, because again, you were, I said to you guys, because we're on a call, I said, you can do this. Right. The same thing I told him, you can do it. Absolutely. You can do it. These people, everyone listening can do this. You just said, again, your story, background, right? <laughs> Arrested a year and a half in prison. Oh, <laughs> you know, so um, did you get a felony or misdemeanor? Felony. OK, Capital so you got a F. felony on your record. OK, but people ask me these questions. Can I do this with a felony? Right, right, right. I, you right, know, right. a lot of times I can't say because I don't have a feel, you know, so I can't really. And that's why, honestly, I told Maria this, as, and it's funny, it's a joke, but it's not. We, you know, she texted me the other day, and I just got a 700, 745 credit score. But I was disappointed because I've always been telling people I've never had a 700 score, and I've right. been able to do millions of dollars in contracts and with 600 scores. So now right. I can't, that story goes to go away because now I got a 700 score. So now right. people are gonna try to, <laughs> they're going to try to say, oh, well, Eric, of course, because you got a 700 score. Like, you know, they're going to use that as an excuse. Of I was course. very proud of my 600 score and doing, having a $5 million credit line. Right, I was right, very right, proud right. of that because that's a great right. story. Anyone can say if you got an 800 score, that makes sense, right? Right. So, right. so I was actually disappointed with my 745 score because it takes away my story. <laughs> well, look, man, you, you did it the hard way. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you really did it the hard way. But you know what? That's the best type of wins, though. The ones that come the hard way. You know what I mean? Right. Like, like, if you grow up with money and this and that, getting another check, you know, you don't really, you don't really feel it. Like, it, it, it doesn't, it doesn't hit look, as well look, as, right. you know what I'm saying, when, when you earn it. When you come, when you come from the mud, you know what I'm saying. Right, when you get it after right. not having anything, and people doubted you. You know how many times? So my father and my twin brother I have an identical twin brother. He works in hospitality, and my father works in, like in a, a residential building in Manhattan. Yeah. And they're union, right? I have a couple oh. of big family union. Yeah. And my and my, my and I have a, I have a son. I have a five year old son, and I have another one on the way. Okay. And you know, uh, they were every time we're at the dinner table. Everyone, including you know my, my sister-in-law, my sister, why don't you just get a job in a in a hotel, get a union job? You'll 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 get. That it sounds like my insurance. family, Mo. <laughs> Keep going. They, they love us, right? Cause, so that's why they say it, right? They're like, you know, get a job. You know, you a guaranteed check after uh, this many years. You get a four hundred one k and blah blah blah. And in my head, I'm like, I don't even want to have to worry about a four hundred one k. I want to make so much money that I'm not even concerned about a measly social security check that I'm right. that, that I'm going to get. You know what I'm saying? No. no. My, father, my father didn't come to this country for me to have to struggle and do the same job that he did. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm here. Oh, By the way, tell people where you're from because no one knows where you're from. What's your background? Oh, so I'm Egyptian. I was born in Queens, New York. And actually, this is my son over here. And What's look, look, up, on. Hey, Joseph. What's Joseph. Joseph. If I quit my job, what am I now? You're, you're the boss. Exactly. Say it <laughs> You're the boss. Exactly. That's so, right, Joseph. You say it, brother. That's what I like. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways, Eric, I got to run. But again, I'm Egyptian, uh, for, uh, immigrant parent, family, born and raised in Queens, New York. Not in the suburban part either. You know what I'm saying? But God willing, one day, if I stick to the script, I'll be in the illest of suburbs in the whole city. Right? I love it. I love it, brother. Hey, man, thanks, Mo. Thanks for sharing, man. We'll keep Thank talking, you. all right? We'll keep Thank wrapping. Thank you so much. Good thanks. luck to you everybody. Good, brother. good story. Please. Joseph, take care of your dad. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. Guys, I'll see you guys later. All right.
that was good. I, that was, I think that was pretty, that was fire, you know? That is, that, that was fire. I mean, I couldn't even, uh, I couldn't ask for anything better today. I couldn't ask for anything better. All right, who wants to come behind that? <laughs> now, um, look, Mo, I, you know, I knew his story. We, we actually had a planned interview set up uh, with Maria to, to talk to some of the people who won their first contract. So we definitely want to get Mo on to, to share. And then he just happened to come on today. Like literally he, he came on and, uh, and like, I, I didn't know, like, I didn't know. Oh, Rafa wants to tell a story. Hold up, Rafa. Hold on. I'll tell you what, we're going to probably Rafa, let's do this guys, because it's eight fifty six. YouTube. I mean, YouTube, Instagram's going to cut me off in four minutes, but I'm going to, if, if we get cut off, if we get cut off, I'll come back on. And then Johnny Spiva, I know you've got something that you want to go over. So, if you know, when it hits 9 o'clock, we'll go off. But then I'll come right back on live. Give me, like, a minute and a half because I'm going to have to, like, save this to uh, the IG snippets. Brandon, you didn't even know that story, huh? I told you. I've been, I've been working with people a long time. Helping a lot of people out here, man. Just just you know Rafa click the button I'm uh it says it's waiting for you you have to push like to accept to go live with me Rafa's having technical difficulties. Nah, listen, Brandon, we're doing good stuff, man. We're really, really impacting a lot of people. I mean, I, I'm very proud of the stuff that we're doing, the content we're sharing, information we're putting out there. A lot of people um, over the last few years, it's just been, all right, Rafa can't get on. All right, Johnny Spiva. Let's go live, man, Johnny. Oh, Missy, you like the replay post of your story? <laughs> All right, we're connecting with Johnny. What's going on, man? Hey, Eric, how you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Not much. Listen, you got a good story, Doing all right, too. doing all right. Hey, listen. <laughs> Everyone's got stories. Yeah, yeah. But we're not... We're not yeah, this is the it. second... We're not going to... Gonna yeah, so, it. yeah, this... Go ahead. This is the second week of uh, doing that landscaping for NAFAC. And uh, that's in line with that um, with that source of sod, okay. BOS, yeah. SC. Right. That's one of the locations. And they are very happy with the work we're doing. <laughs> the previous uh, uh, landscapers left the place uh, a mess. So, so yeah, right now they're pretty happy with this. Donnie, um, can you tell people, I know did, this is, can you tell folks real quick in like 30 seconds, how did you get that contract? <laughs> give us a, give us a 30 second uh, version. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you, okay. So I walked into the, the Navy exchange over in San Diego and I mean, they got, a, the landscape is horrible. This happened during the same time when they had, got the fires out here. Yeah. And I say, look, um, you, I shop here. I'm, what's going on? And I said, look, I can go ahead and provide landscaping work for you. And and um, would you be interested in that? And they said, sure. Um, do you accept the uh, uh, credit cards? I said, yeah, we can do that. And so they asked for me to provide a quote to them. That was it. That was it. Okay. Beautiful. So, so and, and then it's amazing how this happened and then a week or two later that source of salt came out yeah. and i'm like wait a minute so right now so they got they want is the, that source of salt is is seemed like it was haphazardly put together yeah right because they mentioned this all the california nevada arizona but at the very end of that source of salt it's 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 focusing on san diego Okay. On the Johnny, San Diego County. Uh, okay. Everyone, the IG is kicking me off. We've got three seconds, and then we'll just jump back on and finish. Okay. okay. 